Why did the Ethereum token refuse to trade on a centralized exchange? Because it didn't want to be held in custody. Welcome to the world of decentralized exchanges, or DEX, where cryptocurrencies get to roam free, away from the clutches of intermediaries, such as banks. Now what exactly is a DEX? Picture a busy marketplace bustling with buyers and sellers, but without a central authority dictating the rules. A peer-to-peer -peer marketplace, if you will, where trades are executed automatically through smart contracts, rather than through intermediaries such as banks, mutual funds, pension funds, and other brokers. Anyone can access a DEX, whether through a web interface, a desktop application, or a mobile app. You might be wondering, what's the catch? Well, while DEX offer many advantages such as non-custodial custody, access to a wider range of cryptocurrencies, and lower fees, they also come with their own set of challenges. Have you ever tried to squeeze a camel through the eye of a needle? That's a bit what scalability can feel like for DEXs. And let's not forget about market liquidity. Imagine you're at a party, and the DJ only plays songs from the 90s. Sure, some people might enjoy it, but the majority will probably leave. That's what low market liquidity can do to a DEX. It can drive traders away. But don't let these challenges deter you. Remember, even Rome wasn't built in a day. The future of DEX promises improved user interfaces, expanded features, and wider adoption of blockchain technology. In the world of DEXs, there are three main types, order book DEX, automated market makers, and DEX aggregators. Picture order book DEXs as traditionalists, sticking to on-chain or off-chain order books, and possibly offering leveraged trading options. Automated market makers, on the other hand, are the innovators, using liquidity pools and blockchain oracles to set prices. And DEX aggregators, they're the party planners, bringing together the best of both worlds. Finally, remember that DEXs are built on blockchain networks, with Ethereum being the most popular. Why, you ask? Well, that's a bit like asking why the chicken crossed the road. To get to the other side, of course. In summary, DEX are the preferred means of financial transactions in the cryptocurrency world. Although a little rough around the edges just yet, they are certainly full of potential. So why did the Ethereum token refuse to trade on a centralized exchange? Because it wanted to be a part of this exciting, innovative, and yes, sometimes chaotic world of decentralized exchanges. Till next time, keep your crypto close and your decks closer.